I was planning to have another, another child, so I didn't expect that I'm gonna have cancer because I'm just 24. So I'll go ahead and just, just get pregnant, you know? And, and, and then because I'm still breastfeeding with the, with the first son, uh, I was thinking something wrong with my breast. I would just let it go, it didn't come to my mind that it's gonna have cancer. So eventually, it's really painful. So I have to go see the doctor. The doctor said, oh, I got cancer, why I'm pregnant too? Yes. So five to 10% of breast cancers are on the basis of an inherited gene mutation, most commonly the BRCA gene. This is what Angelina Jolie um, had and she elected to go through uh, mastectomies or removal of both breasts because these women have an 80 to 90 percent lifetime risk of developing breast cancer. She found out that I have the genes for the cancer. Actually my grandmother have it so I assume that that's where I get it from and I'm started very young and my cancer is very progressive. It's a lot because I'm not just a chemo you know I am have to get through that. I lost my child I have to get have double mistake to me, even if it start with just left breast because it's so aggressive, I need to remove it. So they they're gonna have to give me something special on top of it all the time because if I can I leave it like a month, the thing would double or triple the size. So one of the trials that we have uh, available at Sylvester for patients that have the BRCA mutation is a study that's looking at the use of an oral PARP inhibitor for patients with stage 4 disease. We also have that therapy available as a preventative treatment for patients that have the BRCA mutation after they've received standard treatment. The oral PARP inhibitor is currently not FDA approved and therefore the only way to gain access to this drug is in the context of this clinical trial. And we're particularly excited about many of these PARP inhibitors because so far the studies have shown that these agents tend to be more effective than chemotherapy and less toxic. I'm so lucky to be here, you know, because if, can you imagine I'm still in Thailand? I would not get this chance or somewhere else that they don't have the drug trial for me. She. Uh, had improvement in her pain. It didn't come at the cost of quality of life. She has a young child. She was able to care for the child and participate in all activities at school and be a mom uh, and still go through treatment for her breast cancer. Quality of life is everything when it comes to stage four uh, breast cancer. We want women to have a good quality of life, to be able to participate in all their normal activities uh, and uh, not have their disease uh, rule their existence. Every day is like a, what's it called? Like a bonus every day. Tomorrow is be, oh, like you win lottery every day. You have more chance to live every day.